Everyone here that's in the house of the Lord. Casual attire Sunday here at the Right Way Church. The last Sunday in the month of March. Amen. Somebody ought to be rejoicing right here, right now. That God blessed us to see the last Sunday in the month of March. Amen. Another reason we ought to, ought to do right, live right, be right. Old song helps us by reminding us with these words. Jesus getting us ready for that.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our uh, scripture for today is coming from the 18th chapter of Psalms, verse 1 through 6. It goes like this. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, into whom I will trust, my buckler, and from the horns of salvation and the high power. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so I will be saved from my enemy. The sorrows of death will pass me, and the bloods of the ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell will pass me about. The snare of death prevented me. In my distress, I call upon the Lord, and I cry unto God, my God. He heard my voice out of this temple, and my, my, and my name, and my, and cried my name before him, even unto his ears. Give blessing to the hearers and doers, and let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come to you looking up. You know the time of birth today and what we are facing. Is so 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 bad. But first of all, before I get off into that, we want to ask you for forgiveness. Anything that we don't know that we have done that is yeah. pleasing to you. We want you to decrease, like, increase in us as we decrease. Hear our voice. But most of all, our shepherd, which is Pastor Bush, we want you to speak to him. Yes. Some of our hearts are hurting. Yes. And we need Church. Yes. Bless the people that are actually in the city of Shea. Yes. And hopefully that you can feel their void that is in them. And we want to thank you in advance for being the Lord of our life. Yes. And we love you. But most of all, the war is going on. Only you have the answers for that. Yes. But that will be done. And we want to thank you for everything in your name. Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Bless you.
that I think that this scripture would help someone on today. If you mind standing for the reading of God's word and repeat after me. It says this. And another also said, and another also said, Lord, Lord, I will follow thee. I will follow thee. But let me first go bid. Let me first go bid. Them farewell. Them farewell. Which are at my home. Which are at my home. At my house. At my house. One thing, let me say this real quick. Jesus is so perfect at putting, putting things in order. Yeah, this yeah. is what he said. And Jesus said unto him. And Jesus said unto him. No man, no man, having put his hand, having put his hand to the pot, to the pot, and looking backward, and looking back, is fit, is fit for the kingdom, for the kingdom of God. Of God. Amen. 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 Amen.
Testing, testing. Testing. Hallelujah.
Amen. And so, Brother Jarvis did them both on today. Amen. Amen. And so we thank you for that. We thank God for the choir. We thank God for this music stand. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give him a hand. Amen. Amen. Team one. Makes the dream work. Amen. There's no I in team. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Ain't about us. It's about Christ. Amen. Everything I do, I do it to the glory of God. Are y'all hearing me today? Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. So good to see y'all here on today. Amen. And, and we want to get to where we don't come to church with an attitude. All right. Amen. Come to church with gratitude. God been too good. Amen. If I was going to have attitude, which I refuse not to, I wouldn't have it on Sunday. Amen. Are y'all hearing me today? Amen. God loves you and so do I. Amen. That's what a good preaching pastor does. Bible says, correct, rebuke. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's all. Amen. Amen. Do y'all hear me today? Yeah. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. At this time, I want us to come to the altar for prayer. Amen. Come on down. Keep your safe social distance. Amen. Amen. Sister Clinton, I'm so proud of you coming with me. I know you're going to come with your sister, Sister Linda. She's not feeling well, but that didn't stop you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Good to see Sister Foy all the way from California. Amen. Amen. That's our, our California church family. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Sister Demetria, amen. God bless you. Praise God. Sister Demetri, see that's when God moved, boy, God has folk joining the church be at the beginning of church. Yes. You can join any time. Come on, give Sister Demetri King a hand, amen, for your name with the right way to church, amen. We love you and thank God for you, amen. And so when you fill out these connect cards, that's how many join nowadays, amen. You just fill it out. It asks if you're a first-time guest or you've been attending regularly or you're a resident. Resident means member. And that is explained in the next line. It says, I'm interested in accepting Jesus, recommitting to Jesus, becoming a resident. And it says in parentheses next to resident, joining. Amen. Amen. Becoming an ambassador. That means to serve, to uh, join a ministry. Amen. And if you... Uh, want to join our ministry and write the one you want on there. Amen. Amen. Or the ones. Amen. Hosting a place. Someday God may bless us to uh, incorporate small groups. And that's where there are several uh, in a group. I mentioned that to the choir last Sunday. It might be four or five. As the church grows, it might be ten or twelve in a group. And you meet various places, oftentimes in homes. Amen. That have been prayed over. Amen. And, uh, and it's in good standing and you study and, and uh, just just be there for one another. Amen. And then when some are missing those groups, that gives a heads up that's, that something's going on. We check on them and then when it needs to get to me, then I'm on it as well or any other, other ministers. Amen. 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 To God be glory. Let us bow for prayer. Father, we come now. Standing in need of prayer. Lord, we come right now asking for the forgiveness of sin. Lord, please. For your word teaches us we all have sin. Come short of your glory. Lord, we praying, pleading right now that you will deliver us from whatever it is that is on us right now. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Cast it into the lake of fire. Never to return again. We rebuke the devil and his imps. 
in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus from the top of every head to the sole of every feet on today. Lord, whatever we may be dealing with, deliver us right now. Heal us right now. Set us free in the name of Jesus. Lord, some may be sick in their bodies right now. We're asking, Lord, that you'll bless and heal all of those that are going through physical trials and tribulations right now. Lord, we're asking that you bless financially. Lord, we're asking that you bless career-wise. Relationship-wise. Lord, bless this your church. The right way church. Lord, renew, continue to remove all sin. Negativity. Self-righteousness. Arrogance. Help me, Lord Jesus. Deliver us, Lord. As Reverend Amy said on last Sunday, remove our pride. Humble our hearts, our minds, our spirits, our souls, Lord. Give you the glory. For you deserve our worship. Lord, you deserve our praise. Our adoration and glory, Lord, it all belongs to you always. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, bless families, Lord. Bless individually and collectively. Lord, bring those that are right, bring them back, Lord. Lord, we only want what you want us to have. In the name of Jesus. We want to be in your will. We want to do things your way. The right way. Father, in the name of Jesus, we feel a burden lifting right now. We feel a casting shadow of evil being removed right now. Lord, we come realizing that the devil ain't happy about how you keep blessing this church, Lord. So the devil wants to mess with ministries within the church. But Lord, we declare in victory right now that the devil is a liar. The truth ain't in him and he cannot win it. So right now, Lord, we pray that you'll keep your covering and your protection over us and around us. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare victory right now. Lord, I feel your presence and your power in this place. Bless this music staff. Bless this choir. Bless this usher boy. Bless every ministry of the right way church. Lord, we're on holy ground. Lord, we thank and praise you right now. In the name of Jesus, we ask it all. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. We needed that. We needed that. I feel better, y'all. Amen. 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 Anybody feel all right? Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It's giving time. That's a good time to give right here, right now. Giving time. Giving time. Amen. Raise your hand if you desire an envelope. Envelopes have the cash app. Scan on it. You can scan it and give it with the cash app. You can give online www.brightwaydallas.com. You can give live and in person right now. Amen. Amen. God bless you. So happy. Just the beaker will get all of this info turned. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
we praying for? The mother of Sister Reba Choice, another good member of the Right Way Church. We've got a whole lot of members we haven't seen in a long time. Make it a point to get to the house of the Lord. It's time to come back to church. Amen. Amen. We've still got the mask in place as a safety precaution. Amen. But all out in the streets and stores and all of that. No masks in the restaurants and all of that. So church is the safest place you can come. Y'all don't want to hear me. Amen. Church is the safest place you can come. So we're praying for Sister Reba Choice's mother. Sister Linda Meadow, who's fighting cancer, been in and out of the hospital. So Sister Reba been taking, looking after her. And that's why she let me know this morning. That's why she had been here at Right Way as much as she would like. But I told her we're praying for Sister Linda Meadows, her mother, and the entire family. Amen. 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 And then Brother Michael Warren, who's uh, relative died as well. We're praying for that family. They came the right way. What Brother Michael comes the right way by way of Sister Coco Glover. Amen. Amen. So we shout now to the Glover family. I see Brother Walter here. I see you, Brother Walter. All of y'all. Amen. Doors of the house of the Lord. Stand open. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lady Natasha, for giving my way of cash out. Sister Foy, Brother Gary gave earlier during the week. Many gave earlier during the week. We're so grateful. Amen. God blessing us with technology. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Christopher Jarvis. Amen. Sister Latasha, Sister Teresa. Amen. All giving my way of cash out. Thank you to those that are giving here right now in person. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all that give online. Amen. We thank each and every one and thank those that mail it in. Amen. If you desire to mail it, 4300 Ramona Avenue. Dallas, Texas, 75216. Amen. Safe and secure, locked and monitored. Box that it goes into. Amen. Amen. God be the glory. Always good to see Mother Brenda Bush. Always, yeah. Amen. She Every Amen. Amen. And that's a blessed brother Jesus. Good to see you, brother Rodney. All of y'all. Amen. The Tamers. Good to see y'all. Amen. Bless y'all. Brother Raymond in the house. Amen. Sister Paula, bless you. Brother Jason, thank you. Out of your vision. Amen. To God be the glory. Did we put the announcements up? current information. Amen? So that we can be a better blessing and keep you more in tune and more informed and better connected. Amen? Choir rehearsal this Thursday at 7 p.m. Looking forward to a good choir rehearsal. Prayerfully we'll have everybody back. Amen? And we remain consistent. Amen? This is a work for the Lord. Are y'all hearing me today? Amen. Amen. Man, did I cover all the announcements? Anything else? Amen. Any other meetings today? I will meet briefly with the uh, music staff. We actually now, uh, the 
as a result of our meeting last Sunday, we've got an even better structure. Of course, Sister Charlotte is choir director, and Sister Kamisha Howard helps with that. And then Brother David is the director of the music staff. Amen. 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 Praise God. And so he conducts that portion, and it all works together for the good. Amen. Amen. And to the glory of God. Amen. 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 Yeah. I'm going to leave that alone, but we got to give you all. Have we done that? Everybody that so desires has given. Facebook Live, have you given? Amen. Amen. God bless you. We thank you right now. Amen. Uh, come on. Deacon Dale and stand here in the middle. Amen. Reverend Lane, if you will bless giving on today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for all those who have given. Father, we lift all the gifts up before you right now. Lord, we ask you to open doors that only you can open and make ways that only you can make. And we bless your name in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Old song I grew up listening to at People's Baptist Church, amen, way back in the day. The late Dr. S. M. Wright Sr. would open up the radio long broadcast with this song, 9 a.m. every Sunday morning. The song says, Oh!
believe I got a few witnesses in here. But no, the Lord is able. He's a man. Yeah. yeah. Anybody know he's a man? I said, all right, y'all. I almost feel like just going right into my shack. Heaven and earth, Noah, he 
Nice work, Mom. Yeah. What a night. God, we stood. You know that right there, all of them. Minister to somebody. Regardless of what you are dealing with in your life. You can look at your challenges. And still declare. What a mighty <laughs> God we serve. In other words, my God and your God can handle it. Have I got a witness here? There's nothing to be for our God.
some of this beautiful weather the Lord has blessed us with. Sister yeah. Denise, good to see you. Amen. Luke chapter 5, beginning at verse number 1, we'll read through. Thank you for standing through the 11th verse. I'll do the reading and you follow. Is that all right? Yeah. New American Standard Translation of Luke chapter 5, beginning at verse number 1. We'll conclude at verse 11. Reads these words. Now it happened that while the crowd was pressing around him and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. And he said, and he saw two boats lying at the edge of the lake. But the fishermen had gotten out of them and were washing their nets. And Jesus got into one of the boats, <clears throat> which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little way from the land. And he sat down and began teaching the people from the boat. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Verse 5, Simon answered and said, Master, we worked hard all night and caught nothing. He says, but I will do as you say and let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great quantity of fish and their nets began to break. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat for them to come and help them. And they came and filled both, somebody say both, oh. of the boat so that they began to sink. Verse 8, but when Simon Peter saw that, he fell down at Jesus' feet, saying, go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For amazement had seized him and all his companions because of the catch of fish which they had taken. Verse 10, and so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, do not fear, from now on you will be catching men. Verse 11, when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything. Somebody shout everything. everything. And followed him. Before you take your seat, I want to speak from the subject today. What a difference the Lord makes. What a difference the Lord makes. So y'all going to pray with me today. What a difference the Lord makes. Listen. I'm reminded, and y'all know that I grew up in church, thank God. And, and I remember the church folks saying that if you love the Lord, Amen. you ought to show some sign. Yes, and do y'all hear me today? Yes. And that reminds me, when we think of this subject today, what a difference the Lord makes if we really love God. It ought to show up in our attitude. If we really love God, it ought to show up in our gratitude. If we really love God, it ought to show up in our walk, yet in our talk. Y'all don't want to hear me today. I'm already preaching. When you don't say that, I know I'm on the right road. Have I got a witness here? And, and, and so, if God has made a difference in our life, Yes, yes. Our lives ought to be different. Yes, I just said something right there. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A wonderful change should come over us if God has gotten into us. Y'all don't want to hear no preaching. It opens up with 
Jesus teaching the people the word of God. Yes. Are y'all hearing me today? Amen. And so the people and the Lord are on the mountaintop near the lake of Genesaret. Mm -hmm. The body of water will more than likely have valleys, that's the low point. And it'll have mountains, that's the high point. Have I got a witness here? In our lives, our body will experience highs and we're going to experience some low. Have I got a witness here? I've discovered, y'all, that when you get in them lows, is when you'll really find out who's with you and who's not with you. Y'all don't want to hear me today. When I got it, I got folk around. When I don't have it, I got folk running drunk. Come on now. That's a word. I just said some nerd cussing. Y'all don't hear me today. Uh, uh, when I can be a blessing, I got folk all around. But when I need a blessing, I can't find nobody. Am I right, Sister Shepard? You can give till you can't give no more. And when you need somebody to give you, then folk turn around and say, I don't know what they done done. They used to have it. That's a shame. I thought I knew it was going to catch up with Reverend Amy told them, watch out for they cry. And they call, live uh, yeah. over there. Uh, Y'all know how, come on, keep it real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We start talking about all the talk. We talk them down, yeah. Those are the same folk that help you get out of your world. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a praying prayer. That let me know I'm, I'm on somebody's pew. Listen, pick up your feet so I don't step on your toes when I come down here. Pew, are y'all gonna hear me today? Listen, so the text shows and tells us that Jesus is teaching the word. First of all, and this is not my first point, but if God is, we're gonna allow him to make a difference in our lives, we need some word in our lives. Are y'all praying with me? The Bible says they, they on the mountain. Jesus was beginning to teach them the word. All right, yes. He sees two boats uh -huh. on the edge of the water, the shore. Have I got a witness here? Amen. We need to be reminded that there's nothing that God does not see. Amen. Amen. You can act one way at church, Amen. act a different way at home, on your job, all these other places. He can do more about it than I ever could. Have I got a witness here? You ain't fooling nobody but yourself. And that's all right, Sister Teresa. I appreciate you. Talk to me. Amen. And with nowadays, all of these cell phones, a lot of this stuff get captured. Everywhere you go, there's cameras watching you. And so there's not really anything you can do nowadays and not be seen. Have I got a witness here? Any former players in the house? I didn't want to talk to them, Reverend Emmanuel. Way back in the day, you could have you somebody. In order. And all you had to do, Custard, was date them in order. And then you had somebody blamed in Dallas. And you dated them in Dallas. You didn't bring Dallas to Arlington. And you didn't bring Arlington to Dallas. But now you can be wherever. And they got you, Doc. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Lord. And some of that's good. And some of it's bad. Yes, sir. Have I got a witness here? Yeah. Let me move on from that. Jesus is teaching. Yes, sir. Now, y'all know that I got a way of going, but I'm going to come back. Sister Foy, Jesus is teaching. He sees the two boats. 
Peter and his partners in fishing. Fish, yes, amen. Mm -hmm. They are washing and mending their nets. Mm -hmm. They've been out there mm -hmm. in the waters. Brother Walter trying to fish. Mm -hmm. uh, They're going to tell Jesus how it went for them a few minutes later, okay? Yeah. And so he goes up to them and watch this. This is point number one. If we want the Lord to make a difference. Uh -huh. In our lives, we've got to let the Lord inside our boat. I just said something right there. we got to let him inside our boat. The Bible says that the Lord, in his word, says, I stand at the door and knock. If you will let me in, I'll come in. Do I have a witness here? Now, I'd like to give you the context. That context is actually Jesus knocking on the door of the church. And he said, because at that time, the church was doing some of everything. Uh -huh. Have I got a witness here? Yeah, yeah. And ain't no church perfect. We all got problems. That's right. But I declare by faith, right way going to solve every, but God going to solve every problem. Say that now. In right way. Yeah. Have I got a witness here? Yeah. He says, I'm standing at the door, not let me in. Uh -huh. yeah. If you let me in, I'll abide in you. Yeah. Have I got a witness here? You abide in me. So if we're going to allow God, the Lord, and that's why God, Jesus, the Lord, three in one. God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Are y'all praying with me today? I don't want nobody to be confused. We got all ages, amen, all levels of maturity in Christ. And so when I say Lord, that's Jesus in the text. Amen. amen. When I say God, that's the Father. That's all the same. Have I got a witness here? The Holy Spirit comes from them. Three in one, the Holy Trinity. God the Father. Do y'all have that? The Son and the Holy Ghost. Three in one. Uh -huh. The Word does not contradict. It confirms. Uh -huh. Are y'all hearing me today? Uh -huh. And so the Lord gets in the boat. Uh -huh. Oh God Almighty. Now something has the possibility of being different. Uh -huh. Because Jesus has stepped in right. to that situation. That's why some folks' marriages that look like it stay on the rocks, uh -huh. it finally gets to the point where it goes smoothly. Why? Because the Lord stepped in. Uh -huh. Y'all don't want to hear me today. Uh -huh. You should have got fired from your job, Allah, but the Lord stepped in. Yeah. Oh, and what a difference! The Lord makes. Have I got a witness here? Well, maybe how you gonna win the election that some folks will say ain't no way you can win the Lord. Yeah. He gonna step in. Oh. Have I got a witness here? What a difference the Lord makes. All of y'all have seen some folk in life that look broke, busted, disgusted, strung out. Just a holy mass or an unholy mass and you see them Senior class, and God bless me to be the senior class president. 
mixed, congr uh, mixed class, probably at that time, Sam Houston probably had of 800 students, 200, maybe 250 black, and the rest were non-black. Amen. And so, uh, when we, when I moved to University of Texas at Arlington, I remember going into a classroom. So Teresa classes in high school had 30 people, maybe. This auditorium had three or four hundred. I walked in at the upper level, and the ceiling went down like that. And the teacher was near down on the stage. Teacher, that's how Jesus is. The water is his stage. Have I got a witness here? Yes. Y'all do know he walked on water. Have I got a witness here? That's right. That's right. And he's still walking on water in my life. Have I got a witness here? I will 
going to let down my day. All right. He's allowing, he, if Simon is allowing the Lord to instruct him. He let him in the boat. Yes. Now he's allowing the Lord to instruct him right. so that the Lord can make a difference, whether he knew it or not at that time, uh -huh. in his life. Because he says, watch this. We toiled all night long. Mm -hmm. And what did we get from all of that work we the labor we did? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. Yes. So watch this, y'all. What I've discovered in the text is that sometimes God would have you do what you don't want to do mm -hmm. in order to get what you never thought you could get. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I just say it's up right yes. God will have you do Amen. what you really don't want to do yes. in order to get mm -hmm. what you never thought you could get. Are y'all praying with me? In other words, God has a way of encouraging us to step out of our comfort. Yeah. Are y'all praying with me? Yeah. Peter says in so many words, I really don't want to do this because we've already tried. Maybe that's a word for somebody. Uh, come on. That God, yes, you failed at something, yeah. but it's all right with God's yeah. guidance right. for you to try that very thing that you said that well, again. All right, all right, all right. Oh, oh, y'all praying with me today. Like you can't give up uh -huh. on getting where God wants you to be. Right. Did right. I just tell y'all something right there? Watch this. He will have to do what you don't want to do yeah, yeah, yeah. in order to get what you never thought. You can get right now. I'm sure you don't want to go to all them meetings and all them. Oh. And them folk wasn't, can I keep it real, wasn't wearing masks during the pandemic. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what a difference the Lord made. Remain going to all of this and I'm watching from a distance. I said, Lord, how much I'm praying. Real <laughs> on that picture. Ain't no mask. Oh. Her, oh. None of it. <laughs> Lord, this is a terrible <laughs> yeah. Lord Jesus, would you please guide them? Now, y'all know the Lord loved me and he with me. He walks with me and talks with me and all that. But check this out. Reverend Mamie never got COVID. No. I did. <laughs> <laughs> what a difference. Uh -huh. yeah. The Lord did me. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. But now she out here blame. Even though I got it, he brought me out. Yeah. Come on. Four children, grandchildren, great grandson. Amen. Amen. 
Brightway Baptist Church. Amen. Preaching pastor, son. Amen. Amen. All of that as a result of the difference that the Lord makes. Yes. Are y'all praying? Yes. So I know I shouldn't be where I am. Have I got a witness here? But I'm an in, in my boat. Have I got a witness here? Secondly, I allowed him to instruct me. Yes. Yes. And when you do that, he'll give you what you never thought yes. you could have. I wanted to tell y'all this story months ago, but there's a retired professional football player named Kurt Warner. Mm -hmm. Kurt Warner, NFL quarterback, uh, Super Bowl winner, and a two-time league most valuable player. Mm -hmm. But Kurt Warner played football for 12 years, but his first four years before that was spent trying to get into the league as a walk-on. Mm -hmm. Nobody drafted him. There's a movie out. I don't want to see it. Uh, one day. Uh, nobody drafted him technically in the football realm. Nobody wanted him. If you pull him up in your own time on Wikipedia, it'll show an asterisk by his first four years of football. That means either you were just on the practice squad, and I call those tackling dummies where you just get beat up by the stars. How about it? You get here and act like you are so and so and so on the team. We're about to play. Bam! I mean, you know, and here's your, uh, your small amount of money. A lot to us, probably, but small amount compared to who just knocked your head off. Amen? And so what happens is he was either on practice squad, y'all, or he was playing in the Canadian arena football league the first four years. And so the story says that Kurt Warner was working in a grocery store. He had gotten to that point in life where he just had to provide for his family. And he got the call to go be a quarterback or have the opportunity to try out. And from there, 11 solid, 11 to 12 solid seasons with the Los Angeles Rams were in two, the year 2000, he won the Super Bowl as the quarterback and the most valuable player. Do y'all hear me? And he's not only that, y'all, but I'm telling you, God will take you places that you never thought he would take you. When he was in that grocery store, God spoke to my spirit and said he was, Kurt was feeling like he was in the hall of shame. He said, but at the end of his career, I put him in the hall of fame. He's a hall of fame. Quarterback. Have I got a witness here? And the greatest thing about Kurt Warner is he's a believer. In Christ. How about that witness here? His wife and him have adopted kids because they love and want to be a blessing to others that don't have it. Do I have a witness here? And then what a difference. I got to get out of here, y'all. The Lord makes. I was looking the other day and I, I saved stories, Brother Walter, because I never know when God won't be to pull them out. Have I got a witness here? But uh, there was a great tornado. They killed uh, close to 100, I believe 92 people in Kentucky. Do you remember that? Uh -huh. Sister Sterrett is from Kentucky. It was probably close to a year ago when that tornado killed 92 people. Well, but there was a grandmother uh, keeping her two grandchildren. Uh -huh. And when the storm came about, y'all, the story says that she laid those two babies, infants, in her bathtub. She covered them with a blanket and put a Bible on top of them and covered them in the Bible with a blanket. About that time that she had finished, yeah, covering those grandchildren. The story says that the storm arose and blasted her house. That the water tank from the tub hit her in the back of her head and blew her across the other side of the yard. And they began to look for those two babies. And they did not find them right away. After digging uh, and pulling, uh, wrestling, uh, searching, uh, hunting, and trying to find those babies, the news report said, uh, Sister Ford, that they found those two babies right. safe and sound with that Bible still resting uh, on, on the top of them. Have I got 
here today that can agree with me that what a difference the Lord will make in your life. Are y'all praying with me? I really don't want to close, but we got to go, y'all. Listen, the Bible says that in this encounter with Jesus, Simon, John, and James, the sons of Zebedee, uh -huh. the Bible says that Peter, yeah, he goes on to meet Peter. Let me give it to y'all like y'all know him. Yeah. Yeah, follow the Lord's uh, instruction, the brother Chris. Uh, and he dropped down, uh, they dropped down their fishing nets. Uh, even though uh, they did not have uh, much success uh, all night long. Uh, do y'all hear what I'm saying? Uh, yeah.
Lord. Teach. But from this day forward, you'll be fishing. For me, do I have your witnesses here? What a difference the Lord makes in our lives. The doors of the house, Lord, open. Perhaps there's somebody here today. They want to give your life to Christ and Lord tonight with this the right way, church. Take your seats if you can. We want to give you the opportunity to give your life to Christ and Lord tonight with the right way, church. This is your opportunity. Why don't you come? Why don't you come? Raise your hand. Whatever you want to do, fill out the connect call. It's time for you to unite with this the right way, church, on today. Why don't you do that? This is your opportunity. The hour has drawn near. I'm not going to Sing. But we thank God for the word. What a difference. The Lord makes the reason you didn't wreck and tore your call. The Lord made a difference. He was in that call with you. You were not alone. I was, we were over at Mama Brenda's house, Brother Bush, we call him Mama Brenda. Last Sunday, and we had a little kid in there playing, put us on the floor. Mama has this good-looking ceramic bunny rabbit that we put out near Easter time. I ended up putting it out just the uh, last Sunday after we played with the stand about that Got a little cute carrot and all that stuff. Looked like an Easter bunny. And so I remember getting it and putting it on the floor, and I was by it, enticing little Kevin to crawl to it. He began to Crawl, but then I moved away. And when I moved away, he stopped. It began to cry a little bit. When I came back to that buddy, he came on to it and played. And the Lord spoke to me and said, that's the way we ought to be as Christians. That as long as your father is with you, you can handle whatever come your way. Have I got a witness here? the difference that the Lord makes. You going on some job interviews. You wouldn't have got it, but the Lord made the difference. And when you, come, when you really mature in Christ, some stuff you don't get in life, you begin to thank Him that you didn't get it. Because you only want what God has for you because that which He blesses you with, He'll honor and prosper it. Have I got a witness here? Amen. Look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Amen. Look at you. 